This new Titan Slammer build has to be the most fun build I've ever made. Now previously you would use the Solar Subclass with an Infinite Throwing Hammer, which would always give you Restoration. Then you would use Pyrogale and Consecration for some serious damage. But since we have Prismatic, this build is now more flexible with different combinations that make the build even stronger. Although we won't have a Throwing Hammer, we'll instead have 3 melee charges with those melee abilities regening so quickly that not having a Slam just won't be a problem, despite losing our Soul Invictus perk that granted us restoration through sunspots. What we'll instead now get is health on melee kills through knockout, which in turn makes up for the lost restoration, although we will still get restoration anyway through other sources. The best part about this build is that we'll use it with the Symphoseps as a starting exotic, and when I say starting exotic, I mean literally, you start with Symphoseps and adjust the exotic perks through exotic class items to improve the build further that suits your preference. You want melee kills to unleash explosions even more and still benefit from Symphoseps? you can do that. You want to go invisible or melee kills? You can do that too. The choices you have are fully flexible and there is no right or wrong exotic to use as long as the class item you do choose is affecting your melee ability in some way. Worst case, you just throw on a Symphoseps because it's still one of the best normal exotics to use for this build on Prismatic. Now I will cover a Pyrogale build at some point for a dedicated solo build so stay tuned for that to come but today we're going to become a true slamming king. Not only will we deal a crazy amount of damage with this build, but we'll have additional perks benefiting us due to being amplified, having Radiant, Restoration and a bunch more. It's honestly an insanely fun build to use this episode. Now are you looking for cheaper games? Then be sure to visit my sponsor CD Keys, where you can buy games up to 90% off and get your hands on some of the best deals of releases this year, like the Final Shape expansion, Elden Ring, and even get Xbox Game Pass cheaper too. As a regular customer myself, I find that CD Keys is the best go-to site when it comes to buying games cheaper and making the most out of my money. In fact, they're so good that they have an excellent rating with over 160,000 reviews on Trustpilot, and with just a few simple clicks, you could be playing your next favourite dream game. Go check them out link below. Now before we dive deeper into the video I just want to quickly mention that if you do like this build and are looking to find more top tier builds for Destiny 2 Episode 1 then you can find the full playlist of new builds down below as well as a link to my mobile X page if you prefer a written guide. But with this build today we're creating a powerful slam attack by using the Consecration Solar Aspect because what this does is allow us to slide and melee which will do a powerful slam that scorches targets in front of you and does a ton of damage. Now what's really good about this is that on its own it's already pretty good, but we can make this a whole lot better by using exotic class items that have perks that benefit the melee ability. So you've got things like Spirit of Severance that causes explosions on melee final blows, which can be combined with Spirit of Symphoseps to improve melee damage while surrounded, which does make a really powerful combo. You've also got things like Spirit of the Assassin, so that melee final blows grant invisibility as well. But one really good exotic class item to have for this build is Spirit of Severance, so that powered melee final blows unleash a damage and explosion combined with spirit of contact so damaging a target with a powered melee causes all nearby enemies to suffer lightning strikes and become jolted. This is a stupidly overpowered combo because what this means is that when you do your powerful slam attack you'll not only cause some serious damage that chains all over the place to nearby adds but you'll also jolt them. So if an overload champion is in range they're just going to get stunned due to the jolting effects but also if an unstoppable is in range they're likely to get stunned as well because of the solar ignitions going wild which will cause unstoppables to become stunned. And not only that, barriers aren't getting away so easily as well, because by using Facet of Dawn the Prismatic Fragment, melee attacks will cause us to become Radiant, and by being Radiant we can take down anti-barrier shields, so due to that one melee attack we can stun every single champion in range of our melee ability, which is just wild. It honestly makes this build a solid choice for endgame PvE. Now one thing to note when it comes to class items versus the original exotic is that you don't get the full benefits. So for Symphoseps for example, the class item Spirit of Symphoseps versus the Symphoseps itself is that the class item's perk only improves the melee damage while surrounded, whereas the exotic itself improves both melee, glaives and supers damage as well as improving weapon handling and reload speed. Now with this build we don't need most of those benefits. The only thing we need to care about is improving our melee damage, which means using the Symphoseps class item for this build specifically is one really good perk choice to have with one other good perk affecting the melee as well. But I am going to point this out right here that you don't need to have any exotic class items. You can use Symphoseps on its own that is completely fine. The build is designed to be used with Symphoseps but using a class item with too many perks will just make the build a lot better especially if using the ones I've recommended just a minute ago. Now since we're using the knockout arc 
aspect on Prismatic, we will be able to become amplified and also infuse our melee attacks by increasing its damage and range. So you could use this build as it is without Synthoseps or any class items, but since the build is designed to be used around groups of adds and mini bosses, I do recommend Synthoseps or anything that will benefit you while being around adds to chain damage or cause more damage. But because we are using the Frenzied Blade Stram Melee, we will get 3 charges of our slams. At first I thought about going with the Thunderclap because it's basically 3 infinite melees when using it as it is, but by doing that you only get 1 Consecration Charge, whereas using the Strand ones you get 3, so it is better to go with the Strand for the melee. And what's actually even better about using the Strand Melee for 3 charges is that by using Monte Carlo, we can get them all back really quick as well. Because what Monte Carlo does is increase its damage from kills and melee kills, but also dealing damage with a weapon reduces your melee cooldown and grants a chance for it to fully recharge the melee with each kill. So by using this, we will be able to get melees back faster to then basically use them almost all the time. And since auto rifles are not an anti-champion weapon, we can use this to stun barriers when we are radiant. And not only that, also use it to grant both light and darkness transcendence energy. So is a really good exotic to use for this build. Now when you actually go about using this build, when you do get that first melee kill, either by using the normal melee or the slam, you'll generate an orb and get a bunch of buffs. You'll get radiant, restoration and amplified almost all the time, and this happens because by picking up the orb of power, we'll get restoration due to the facet of purpose fragment, as we're using a solar super, and restoration is a really good buff to have with this build, especially for a melee build. And not only that, we'll also get radiant from those orbs as well which will refresh our timer and just help to keep it active more often due to the Radiant Orbs artifact perk. But since we're becoming amplified as well due to the aspect, we'll get more damage resistance from the Galvanic Armor perk, and our grenades will recharge faster as well because of Shield Crush. And since we're using the Shackle Grenade, we'll be able to suspend tough enemies, champions and mini bosses whenever we want, which just helps a lot in endgame content if you've got champions running at you, because you can just suspend them and then go in for the slam if you really want to. But after that initial melee kill, you'll just roam around slamming everything with your abilities while getting Monte Carlo kills to refresh the melee ability and grant transcendence energy. And you may notice that sometimes we are spawning fire sprites too. This is because of the elemental siphon perk where rapid kinetic weapon kills create an elemental pickup that matches our super. Since we're using solar that will be as fire sprite and that will just give us more grenade energy when we pick them up. Now the other fragments I'm using with this build are Facet of Hope so that our class abilities regenerate faster when we have an elemental buff, Facet of Ruin so that our solo ignitions have an increased AoE which is very important for this build as we're going to be causing a ton of solo ignitions and then Facet of Protection so that while surrounded we are more resilient to incoming damage with the effect being increased while transcendent. When it comes to choosing the mods you really want to prioritize anything that will get your super faster, generate orbs more easily and grant you more melee energy since we are a melee build so the quicker we get our abilities back the better this build will be and honestly the more fun you'll have as well but overall a really good titan prismatic build to have right now if you want to make the most out of a triple consecration melee build but if this isn't the build for you then be sure to check out the full playlist down below where you can find all my latest builds otherwise i've been divide thank you all for tuning in and until next time peace